Sure. Sure. Well, um, first of all, that was a study that was done at the Department of Homeland Security by a group of very competent scientists. It really remains to be seen what particular impact that might have. Uh, I mean, certainly the virus seems to be uh, flourishing pretty well in areas of the world where there's a lot of sunlight and a lot of heat <laughs> and a lot of moisture. But the fact that it might not survive as well on surfaces in light and moisture and heat is interesting. We may be able to do something with that. But remember, we're talking completely about surfaces and environmental components of the virus out in the in environment. I mean, obviously, it was a scientifically sound study done by a good group. So we'll see where it takes us with regard to the impact it might have. Not at all, and I, I, I think the president was not being serious about that. I mean, obviously, if you ask him, he knows that that's not the case, that you'll be giving that. Uh, I mean, obviously, the press made, made something of that, but I, I don't think that that's an issue. You know, th that's a very fair question, uh, and, and testing as a whole is, a, is literally a process in motion. It's, it's a work in progress. I mean, testing next week is going to be better than testing we had this week and the week after. And as we get into the next few weeks, uh, I was just got off the phone for the, together with the vice president on a two-hour call with the governors. And it was clear that situations in states that did not have adequate testing, by adequate I mean not only the tests themselves, but the capacity to do the tests as well as each individual thing that you need, the swab, the extraction material, the media, and things like that. And when I was asked a question, I believe, on an interview with Time Magazine, I said I was not completely confident at the time that we had everything we needed at this time for adequate testing. And that was actually the truth. But what people didn't hear was the second sentence I said after that. But as the weeks go by, we are getting better and better. And I would predict by the time we get to the point where most states, most regions might want to go into from the gateway to the phase one, that they would have enough testing capability to do that successfully. I hope so. It looks like we're going in that direction. Uh, you know, absolutely. I'm cautiously optimistic about that because we've had experience where convalescent plasma, hyperimmune globulin, and even monoclonal antibodies have had important impact in other diseases. We don't fully understand the pathogenesis or, you know, that's a long word for how does this virus work in the body. But it's a reasonable assumption to say that antibodies that the body makes to suppress the virus, if you passively transfuse them into people who are sick and need it, or even people as a prevention, there's a reasonably good scientifically based assumption that that would work. So therefore, my response to your question is that I favor that pursuing those studies, and I'm cautiously optimistic about them. I mean, I actually, yeah, I actually, um, I mean, obviously, I've been doing vaccines now for quite a long time, decades, and vaccines are tricky. You know, sometimes you're successful and sometimes you're not. It really depends upon the nature of the virus that you're dealing with. Uh, there's nothing about coronaviruses in general that tell me that it's going to be particularly difficult to get a vaccine. It's really a matter of time as it is opposed to scientific obstacles. Uh, I, would, I had said a couple of months ago when we started the phase one trial that it would take about a year to a year and a half. I think we can sh shave some months off that. We're already into the third part of the phase one. We need to do some animal studies to make sure that vaccine doesn't paradoxically make you worse. That's called enhancement. We want to be careful because we're going to be giving it to people who are normal. And the first thing you want to do is first do no harm. And once we get past that and go into phase two, three right away, it is conceivable that we'll be able to shave some months off that and perhaps have a vaccine, hopefully, that would be at least available in moderate numbers to people as we get into the winter of 2021. I hope so. Never guarantee with vaccines, but I, I have some cautious optimism that we'll be there.